Hey there again YouTubers! Today I'm going to be doing a recap video of My Hero Academia Season 3 Episode 1. And man, was this episode trash! It was, it was really bad. Um, this, this episode really explored nothing in My Hero Academia. Because you want to start off Season 3, you want to start off really strong. They just had a huge conflict with Stain, the hero killer. And that's a polarizing character in himself because we see that he is killing a bunch of heroes that we see as heroes, but he wants to save people that are legitimate heroes, like uh, an All Might or uh, a Zeke Midoriya. So he's not killing everybody, but he's still kind of bad, but he's also kind of good. The fact that he hates the League of Villains, that's awesome, and we just drop that entirely. Stain was mentioned for the second because this episode is all about recap. This was a big recap episode, and it was all filler all the time. I mean, even at one point, they had Eraserhead. He's planning a trip and a retreat out in the woods with one of the other heroes, Vlad. And he's like, oh, by the way, can you remind me what the quirks do? And literally, they ran through the entire hero class. So you could be reminded what their names were and what they could actually do. So it actually ended up being a giant waste of time for people who are fans of the show. But I guess for the casual fans, starting out the next season on the first episode, reminding everyone what all the characters do and what roughly they've done in the past, it was probably a good idea to the casual viewer, but big fans, it was a big waste of time. The only original things that happened in this episode were a pool swimming competition where they had all the, uh, all the heroes from Hero Class UA. They ended up getting to a pool, they were just gonna like enhance their skills, like, oh, let's have a competition. They wanted to get their big flopping penises out and compare them. That's basically what happened. We didn't even get to see the finish of that one because a racer head popped in and he stopped it all. He's like, hey, your training's done for today. So we didn't get to see who the best out of like Todoroki, Deku, and Bakugo was in the end. So we didn't even get to see that. And the only other part of the episode was at the pool, we saw some of the male heroes trying to be pervs on the female heroes. It does get a little pervy and a little sexual abusey, but I understand the desire of seeing them naked, I guess. As I've gone deeper and deeper into Japanese anime, I am stunned by how much perversion there is with inside of it. It's actually getting to a point where it's getting kind of creepy. What I mean by that is, uh, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. Master Roshi, pretty freaky that like his only kryptonite is young girls. And in My Hero Academia, I'm blanking on his name right now, the little guy, the stupid little guy, where they can pluck balls out of his head. That's his life goal. He'll do anything he can to get some tatas in his face. And it's just amazing. But anyway, that little rant I just went on right there about perversion is just as interesting as the last episode of My Hero Academia. If you wanted to watch this episode and you want to see a recap from both season one and season two, I mean, back when they had the, uh, the world championships that Deku competed in against Todoroki or his original fitness test for Hero Class, or if you want to see the fight against the Killer Stain, you could do that. That's This episode is great for that. The only real original stuff we got was the pool race, the perversion, and Shigaraki saying, All Might makes me mad, and Ezekiel is clearly a target long term, and that he's going to change his strategy. That's about it. Otherwise, we got nothing. Nothing cool, nothing good in the future. Whatever. It's only one episode. Episode 2 was much better, and I'll do a recap on that as well. But that's basically the summary of the episode. I haven't seen any filler in the next episodes I've watched, so I think we're going to be okay, but <laughs> fingers crossed, that's it. But that's going to do it with the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed this My Hero Academia recap video. Although it was very brief, it pretty much laid out everything that happened in the episode. If you want to check out more of my videos, you can check out some of my other content over here. I have some Game of Thrones stuff, plus I have a really cool Vegeta video I just made because I love the Prince of All Saiyans. And if you want to see more in the future, just hit the subscribe button right up here. Make sure you get all the notifications right to the front of your YouTube page. Otherwise, hope you have an amazing day, everybody. Take care. Goodbye.